just here to get straight to the point. My wife and I have been married since we were 25. We are 38 now. We met in college, got married and everything has been great. We both graduated, got good jobs, and started our lives together. Me and my wife both made good money, so money was never an issue for us. My wife worked for her dad's small business while I worked for a very large company. After a few years, my boss left the company out of nowhere and they needed someone to take over. The only person who knew how to run the department was me. So, I got a major pay jump, better bonus, better benefits. It works. So, at 28 I was making probably three times plus more than my wife. At 28, the same year, my wife gave birth to our first daughter. Then, two years later, our second. My wife, due to working for her father, was able to be more diverse in working. Well, around five years ago, my father-in-law passed away unexpectedly. That left my mother-in-law and wife in a hard position. Sell the company or run it themselves. My mother-in-law had no clue how to run it, so my wife said she would do it. After my wife took the company, it did just as well as when her father ran it. With that being said, my wife got a huge pay increase, more than me. I was proud of her. Going from a basic worker to running a whole company isn't easy. Anyway, our daughters started suffering from not seeing their parents. Me and my wife discussed one of us staying home. She said, the company you work for will be fine without you. Mine could go under. I agreed, so I quit my job and became a stay-at-home dad, husband. I do everything. I make sure the girls are all taken care of. I cook, clean, fix things, make sure errands are run, you name it. I pamper my wife when she gets home from working. This went well for a while until about a year ago. My wife was always very appreciative of what I did and loved it. She has become very mean lately, like just saying things like, do you do anything or how about you work for real? What? I work my arse every day making sure you don't have to lift a finger when you get home at all. Also, I had a real job, but I quit to raise and take care of the girls, our home, and you. Not to mention my wife is very sexual. Always has been. She quit initiating sex and when I ask, she is never in the mood. That was very odd. Eventually, I quit trying. I just thought, with all the pandemic crap and everything else, she was just very stressed, and it was getting to her. I started trying harder to make her happy. Nothing ever worked. Last weekend, my oldest had a softball game. So, I get everything ready, and we go. During the game, I wanted to take a video for my mom and dad since they live in another state and don't get to see my daughters that often. I forgot my phone so I asked my wife if I could see hers. She had been attached to it all day so it would be good for her to get off it. Anyway, she hands it to me and says she is going to get a drink and a snack. She gets up. I video my daughter when a message comes up on some app. I check and I can't even fathom what I see. My wife and this guy from her work, who is 8 years younger, are sexting and sending videos and pics, talking about how great the sex was and then me. He is saying how I am some wimp who can't get a real job taking care of his women and my wife agrees with him. I couldn't believe this SHT I saw. I was so devastated and angry all at the same time. I heard my wife coming back, so I closed the app and started videoing. On the ride home and when we get home, my wife tries to talk to me and I am not in the mood. Eventually, we lay in bed and, for the first time, I guess they hadn't met in a while, tried to have sex. I tell her I am not in a mood. She says, if you are going to be a bitch about everything, you can sleep on the couch. I got up and went to the couch and now have been here since. I don't know how to move forward with this. I really just don't know where to start. My wife was my everything, my girls are my world, and all of that is dying. Any advice would be wonderful as I really effing need it. TL, doctor. Wife and I met in college and got married. Her dad died and she took over the family business. I became a stay-at-home dad and she is cheating on me. Edit, should have mentioned I did send screenshots of the conversation to my phones. I do have the evidence. Update, hey everyone, I want to thank you all for the advice you all gave. First off, I do have the text, pics, videos and everything. Second, I don't own of the company. It is 50 over 50 between her and my mother-in-law. Third, I can't sleep in the bed. I have been sleeping the guest bedroom every night and that is where I will be staying. To answer, I have decided to divorce her. Anyway, this morning I called a firm in another town to avoid anyone finding out. Thankfully they were able to get me in this morning as someone had cancelled. After dropping off my girls I drove over there. To make a long story short, he is a very good lawyer. I showed him what I had. He said that luckily for me with the evidence I have she will be pretty much screwed in the divorce. Seeing as I quit my job to raise our girls, she is never home, she is having an affair, prioritizes this man over me and my girls, she will lose very easily. He basically said we will get child support, alimony, I will keep the house and she we will have to pay for it as long as my girls live there. Also, he stated that we could even try for more money since I am considered no longer viable in the working world to help me pay for more education to get a job. Some of you were right. He said to not work until after the divorce is over. He said since you are the husband if you have a job, you can lose a lot of this. He asked if I wanted full custody. I said that I don't mind my wife seeing her girls on the weekends every once in a while, but I would want mostly full custody. He said since she had an affair in the marital home, I can basically do what I want. 
since he stated bringing over a strange man over to the house put the girls in danger and makes her guilty. So, I will be going for full custody where she can get weekends once maybe twice a month. No man will be allowed around my girls and if there are she could face problems by me if I find out. I just don't want that pass around my girls. He eventually said to keep quiet until the draft are ready and then he will issue someone to serve her and have it issued that she is required to leave the home. He said he should have it done sometime next week. He asked me to just keep quiet. He said I know it is hard and you are upset but just shut the hell up until everything is done. Once the divorce is over you can say whatever the hell you want about her, but until then keep your mouth shut. He said act as normal. He said no fights, no issues, sleep in separate bed, and no sex. I said no problem but why. He said trust me just don't do it and do as I say. I just got home and have started getting ready for dinner and acting and being normal. I will be acting as if everything is okay until she is served next week. As I can only make two updates, yes, I actually read the rules, on here and more will be on my page if anyone cares. Thank you all for the advice and some very harsh words. And to the one guy who asked for my wife's nudes, just know, it seems all you have to do is ask her and she will send them, so it isn't that hard it appears. Quick edit, he recommended I get an STD test, plus a DNA test on my girls. When I asked why he said, it is pretty rare incidents like this are the first time they have happened. So, yeah that effing hurt to hear and scared the hell out of me. Now, let's get some reaction from the comments section. Reader comment, he means don't have sex with her so there won't be a pregnancy scare cause cage cheaters try everything to prolong the inevitable. Good luck, you got this, and I'm so sorry you're going through this. Hug your little girls a little extra. Original poster, I plan to. Thank you. Reader comment, I caution you about one thing, decide now if biology will change your perspective of your babies. If none of them were yours, would you stay in their lives? What if only one or two? Don't ruminate on the implications because that'll mess you up. Just decide if you love them enough to stay if they weren't. Some people just don't test because of this. That said do what the lawyer said because he's right. It's very unlikely she's being safe because in reality the risk of pregnancy and the thrill and sleeping with her can lengthen the divorce. Original poster, if one or none of them are biologically mine those are my daughters. I am their dad. I will raise them and love them no different. It will just hurt knowing they may want to meet their biological father one day. Reader comment, I am a little lost you have to share a bed with her or sleep in separate beds. How does this not make her suspicious if you're sleeping in separate beds? Did you dig through her financials? How's the mother-in-law? Are they shrewd? You look before this affair started what she was paying herself, if it's a limited company and the end-of-year dividends she was getting, and various tax avoidance scheme companies do. Also look for any changes in pay when the affair started to get heated, was more mother taking more pay? Did your soon-to-be ex pay reduce? There are loads of ways to hide income with limited companies and make it to appear as something else. Original poster, basically, she just thinks I am throwing a fit after she yelled at me and called me a bitch and giving her the silent treatment. Reader comment, I can't imagine your lawyer made an exception for posting this for the world to see when he said to stay quiet. You should probably delete this. Original poster, many details have been changed to make sure it is not the same. Other than me being a stay-at-home dad, everything is different in real life. I figured I would change details from the first post for privacy reasons and even more now with my lawyer's advice. Reader comment, stay strong. You're doing what's best for you and your kids. It seems that she has become delusional and selfish due to her affair and is just adopting the arguments the boss is serving her to justify her actions. In that state she's not the wife you knew, she's a totally different person. Some people would tell you she's her true self and was always like this inside, but I don't think so. The dopamine addiction for being pursued and validated during an affair can cause heavy personality changes in a person's mind and generate out-of-character behaviors. The brain uses dopamine to create new neural pathways for survival purposes. It's how the reward system works to drives us to certain behaviors. Sometimes it goes totally wrong and favors narcissistic mindsets like hers. Be prepared for the shock she will receive when she learns you are divorcing her. It's possible if you are lucky that the panic of losing everything will wake her up, and then, out of guilt. She might not fight back too hard and let you have what you deserve without things becoming too dirty, as long as she can still see the girls on your conditions. It's also possible she's in too deep and will just be outraged and angry you dare fight back for your self-respect, at least for a while. Sometimes it takes a while to recover from a delusion like hers. Focus on your girls, eat properly and exercise if possible so you'll get the toxicity out and sleep more easily. Original poster, yeah, this has been going on almost a year at this point. Pretty much he just says how she is so good and that I am worthless. I agree, this is not the women I fell in love with and married. I don't know who this is. Thank you. I do work out. I actually look the same as we did when we were in our 20s, she doesn't. But I love the way she looked. I just don't know why she did this. I have set up an STD test and a DNA test so I guess I will have more answers soon. Reader comment, her position of power, combined with being chased and validated did a number on her. Maybe she had a weakness for attention that she wasn't on guard for, and it made her feel so good about herself that she lost it. Then she was hooked and became delusional. 
The guilt and the need to continue despite the guilt changed her inside to be able to justify and accept her choices. That doesn't mean her original self isn't still there somewhere deep inside, but it's more like an alternate personality Taylor made for the affair has taken control. But it doesn't change the damage she did to you and your family. Just show her you won't let her treat you this way and at some point, even her will respect you for it. The more you respect yourself, the more attractive and valuable you are and the more she will understand what she lost with her actions, which can only help her face her own shame and wake up from her crazy selfish mindset. Glad to hear you work out. Never doubt your own worth. None of this is your fault on any level. She just fell in a fantasy world where everything is about her own entitled self, and it's just easier to justify everything by taking you down than to look at her actions honestly. It's the mindset of an addict. Original poster, yeah. I met my wife in college. I have seen pictures of her in grade, high school. She was kind of the ugly duckling, shy girl by many people's standards. Very smart, just not conventionally attractive. In college she changed a lot, and I personally really liked her nerdy shy self. It was what I loved about her. I guess with the power mixed with a guy complimenting her she fell for it very easy. I don't know the kid too well, but I do know he was kind of the jock guy in high school. I guess my wife never was able to get with one and now she can. I don't get it. He is dumb, lazy, no personality other than photos of him drinking beer. But you know, he's tall and, like a caveman, he throws ball really good. Reader comment, but the bad boy with no hobbies gave me attention. I gotta F him. Original poster, I know men and women think really idiotically when they are in their teens and early twenties. However, this is a 30 plus year old woman. I hope this was not her mindset. I don't know what it was, but I really hope this wasn't hers. For her sake, reader comment, it's more an addict mindset. Attention and validation induced a rush of dopamine that is highly addictive. It rewards the behavior and creates a need to repeat the experience. It creates infatuation too since the guy is associated with the experience. Then you lose more and more control as it becomes a craving. Boundaries become obstacles. Guilt becomes a nuisance. And you can go further and further to ensure you don't lose this new thing that makes you feel so good about yourself. But you don't realize that you're no longer yourself. You're just driven by your addiction. Dopamine is highly addictive, extremely hard to resist unless you receive a huge shock. Reality comes crashing and the fear of the consequences of your actions wakes you up. Original poster, well, if that is true then the crash is coming. There will be no way to fix what is crumbling. Reader comment, lawyer sounds legit. Good thing you're not in a no-fault state. She's eft rolling on the floor laughing good luck man. Original poster, that is the thing, I think we are in a no-fault state. Thing is we have so much evidence of her, in his words, endangering the home and children then being the sole caregiver basically f her in his words. Not to mention being her relationship with a worker of her business could be seen as unprofessional in his wordage. So, he is basically like we have so much leverage she can't do SHT. Reader comment, don't take her back when she does the I'll change I'll stop we can be a family again. Once she knows she's screwed she will do anything to get back, once served, and the lawyer says so tell people what happened so she can't play the victim. Original poster, I have no intentions. Thank you. Reader comment, he also means don't have sex with her because it could be considered reconciliation. If you reconcile, then the adultery cannot be used against her in the future. Original poster, no worries there. Reader comment, the DNA test is something you better do. They are your children, but she may know they have a different biological dad, and you need to be prepared to fight and win in every situation. Wish you all the best. Original poster, God, I hope they are mine. They will always be my daughters and my little angels, but if I find out they are not biologically mine loudly crying face, I don't know what I am going to do. Reader comment, they are your children. Always, you are their dad. Always, the five-minute biological act of getting a woman pregnant does not make someone a father. It's how they act afterwards. Original poster, I know that. It just will be hard if I find out they are not mine and they want to eventually meet their biological dad. It will just hurt knowing that. Reader comment, they will always be your daughters. You love them and have proven it for years. I have faith they are your biologically but if not, that doesn't change who they love and who you raised all those years. You are an amazing dad regardless of whatever happens. Original poster, I just keep repeating the saying that a guy I knew who was raising a stepchild since they were like two and he met his now wife. I may not be their father, but I am their dad. Reader comment, I'm so sorry this has happened to you. Just keep your head up for your girls. You're the person they will be looking to through all of this. Original poster, they are all I care about. Reader comment, I would get therapy on top of all of this it will help you process your emotions. I'm doing this after my ex broke up with me for a girl, he only knew for 3 weeks. We were together almost 10 years with a 7 year old. It helps get some things out and I would take every day slow. Original poster, oh, sorry for that. Hope you are doing better. Reader comment, I fully support your decisions. Your wife seems like the worst. What about the custody? What do your girls want? Are you sure they want to see their mother just once or twice a month? Original poster, I mean it hasn't been brought up to them yet. However, if they decide they want to see their mother more often I will let them. Thing is my daughters are daddy's girls and pretty much are attached to my hip 24-7. 
Reader comment. Hey, I know Reddit is treating you as a big winner, but don't let that get to your head. Stick to what the lawyer says. Original poster, plan to. Reader comment. Opus, you're a great man and father. Any woman would be lucky enough to have you, a man who stepped up and took care of his family and kids. Good luck, Opus. Original poster, thank you. Reader comment, I want to say start being more assertive over her and making her do more around the house. She said that you should get a real job, but since you are a stay-at-home dad, maybe she will see what you are capable of. Of course, this would just be a ploy to make her see what she will be losing when you divorce her arse. Also, please have her served at work in front of everyone, if you weren't already planning on that. Good luck and I'm sorry you are in this situation. Original poster, no need to do that as it will be my house soon enough. My lawyer recommended we serve her at work. He stated, if we serve her at your home, she could become defensive do who knows what at your home. In public she will have to act a certain way for her business. Reader comment, did your lawyer give you advice on what to tell the kids when she is out of the house next week? Original poster, he basically said that when it comes time that I may need to have a child specialist explain the situation in the best way. He told me that my telling them could be used against me so. Reader comment, no, I understand I just feel so bad for your girls. Hey will be so confused. You should stick to what your lawyer says obviously. If he has any recommendations for a specialist book them as a P obviously. I hope you have some family who can come next week or soon after to help all of you. Original poster, all I have for family is my soon-to-be ex-mother-in-law. My parents live in another state. No family here. My daughters may be young, but they are not stupid. I think they already know we aren't right. My oldest the day after her softball game when I took her to school asked if me and mommy are fighting. She was in tears before school and that got her little sister crying. That was fun to deal with. Reader comment, can your parents come to stay after the notice? I am sure your kids would love to see the grandparents and you could use the extra support. Original poster, I am sure my mother would, but we'll need to wait on that. Reader comment, I figured you would get the home. I guess I am trying to be vindictive for you since I want her to as hurt as much as possible. Considering how hurt you are and how hurt the kids are going to be. Original poster, I do want to hurt her. Not physically, I am not the kind of guy, but just make her feel the way I feel. However, it isn't worth it, and I want my lawyer to have no issues with me as his client. Reader comment. Put extra salt in all her food and coffee. She deserves it. Original poster. That would be hilarious. However, she would probably say I tried to poison her. At least her lawyer might in the end. Reader comment. Yeah, maybe. But do it at least once, just to see her expression, and then blame it on getting distracted by the kids. Original poster. Seems legit lol. Reader comment. Best of luck. I hope you come out of this with both your kids and that you find happiness. You don't deserve this opus, and please don't let her change you. You sound like a great partner. Original poster, thank you. Reader comment, I feel like you should go for full custody where you get to decide the schedule for the ex to visit the kids rather than letting the court decide when and how she can see the kids. Original poster, I will let my lawyer decide what he feels we can do and get it done. Reader comment, good idea. He asked me to just keep quiet. I suspect he means on the internet too. Unless he says it's okay, you might be careful what you put in writing even anonymously. It could be subpoenaed. You would either have to perjure yourself by claiming you didn't say anything on the internet, or you would have to turn everything over to the opposing lawyer. Original poster, as far as I know wife doesn't use Reddit. Plus, just about all details, minus me being a stay-at-home dad, have been changed a lot. Reader comment, well, who gives a SHT about the DNA results? Those are your baby girls. You'll just give yourself more heartache and stress waiting for results, and if it were any different from what you've felt in your heart since day one, like I said, who cares? As far as she is concerned, she can get wrecked and can't wait for you to take this W and get the F away from that toxic garbage. Original poster, they are my babies no matter what. I just will hate the day where they may want to meet their bio father if I am not their bio father. Update, hey everyone, I just want to thank you to all who sent me good messages over this period. I have been feeling down and things have been rough. To preface, I have talked to my lawyer about this post. I didn't go into too much detail. They did tell me though as long as I keep them brief and not super specific that I can post, but I just have to be careful about what I put on to not lead too many details. That is that. So, for quick update, like I said we'll be brief and not too specific for legal reasons. We will start with the test. I was able to get an STD on myself and a paternity test on my girls. I came out that I thankfully have no disease and I am clear. Since I have been pretty much sexless from her for the last year, I wasn't all that surprised. Now for the one that I am sure most of you are wondering. The test on my two girls. Am I the dad? I will always be their dad regardless of the results. However, I am here to say that, yes, I am their biological father. I have never been so happy to know that I am their dad. Never thought I would have to question it, but here we are. As for what has happened with my soon-to-be ex, well, she is out of the house and I have been granted full temporary custody. In the future, maybe a while, I will go into more specific details. However, for now she is out of the house. My lawyer set everything up for me to get my girls and make sure that we legally handled her being removed from the home. It wasn't pretty, but details for another time. 
She was served at work, and from what I know it wasn't pretty. Like I said though, details for another time. My girls know what is going on. My oldest knows we are separating, and one of her friend's parents split for the same reason. She has seen what happened with her friend and doesn't want us to split. She has been crying for me to let mommy come home. I will be getting them in with a child therapist to explain and help them understand from direction of my lawyer. My youngest just wants mommy to come home and misses her. It kills me and makes me feel like a terrible father, and they probably hate me now. Sometimes I think I should just let their mother cheat on me to keep the family unit to make my girls happy. I just can't do that. Sometimes I think about talking about allowing an open relationship and we can just wait till the girls are older, but that won't work for me. Plus, I know the girls will pick up on it and will not like it that mommy and daddy don't love each other. As for my ex, she is living with her mother at this point. My mother-in-law has called me and asked to meet. I agreed and we will be meeting at some point. She didn't ask for details, as she said we will talk later, but begged me not to take her granddaughters away from her. I said you are a great and loving grandmother and as long as you can separate my girls from what is going on between your daughter and I, I see no issue with you being able to see them, and I will not take them out of your life. She thanked me and that is it. My ex has been trying to call me and text me trying to figure out us. Under direction of my lawyer, he has had it set up so that I can talk to her through a trackable method, and it is purely about the girls. No more no less. So, that is it for now. We'll probably keep updating and once this is all over with, I will make one big update for all the details I have to be careful about as of now. Reader comment, can you talk about how she was served papers and what she did after? Original poster, at the moment I cannot talk about what happened. Eventually I will be able to, but it wasn't pretty.